Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek of I am Penjo. Welcome back to Foundation, where we're just having a little dip back into the game and poking at all the new exciting things that are part of the first and second content update. So what did we do last time out? We kind of built a very big extension to the city, kind of over this way. So we've got ourselves a wheat field and we've got ourselves a little windmill, which looks very lovely, and a baker's and that kind of stuff. So we've kind of got some basic provisioning in which means that the villagers can get one of their needs. Because now the villagers are now commoners, I believe. Oh, you're a serf still. You're a serf. Some of the villagers have kind of elevated themselves up to commoners, which is fine. I don't mind that so much. But um, it means that they need extra demands. It means they need extra food demands. So at the minute, this person here, this serf, is happy with one type of food. So if they've got berries, Carl here, <laughs> Carl the 19 years old male, is utterly delighted. However, if we find someone who isn't a serf... You there. Uh, you're a citizen. Oh. We've got citizens, have we? When did that happen? Did I miss the fact that we've got fancy pants citizens? Okay. Right, well, a citizen needs even more stuff. So they have primary needs, which is water and a house. They have food needs. So they have two of these. So this person's after anything and then some bread. Then they've got kind of a clergy thing. Then they've got goods. So they want, you know, clothes. And then here they want luxuries. Now, what constitutes luxuries? Can we make luxuries? I'm not entirely sure. I fear we might be losing people and causing people anger because we haven't got luxuries in. But there we go. So, um, yeah, we're kind of, we're expanding quite quickly in terms of the level that our people are getting to. But we've only really got one of the fancy pants buildings. We've got a church here and it's only a little sort of rustic church. It's not particularly exciting. It's just a wooden church with a tower bit on the back. So we've only got one of those. So today, I think we'll set our sights on building a couple of, um, of lovely, new, exciting buildings. I think that's what we'll try and do. So uh, just before I started recording, I extended the residential area down there over to sort of uh, this full area. It was only sort of cut across here. So that now fills up that whole area. And I put a warehouse down just here because warehouses are seemingly more important now than they were in the previous version. So let's actually set something to go into this warehouse. So we need a person. So yes, John. John the warehouse person. And John, you can store things. So what do we need to store in here? What does the other one do? Right, hang on. Pause time for a second. More people are joining. Um, berries, cloth, wool, and tools. Okay. Berries, cloth, wool, and tools. Well, hang on. I can leave them open. That's quite useful. That's very useful. So that's stone, planks, fish, and something else. Right, over here then, how about we have bread, we have wheat, we have flour, because that's all to do with the baking stuff, and the baking sort of side of things is over there. And then another thing, we haven't got a storage of wood, just regular wood, although we have got 166 wood lurking about somewhere. I don't really know where that goes, but <laughs> there we go, it goes somewhere. Um, or this polished stone? How much of that have we got? 100 polished stone. I mean, I don't know how... Where are we keeping that? I'm not entirely sure where we're keeping that either. We might want to do some trading with somebody. And then if they are trading, they do need it in a warehouse, I believe. So if we uh, buy... I don't know, that's buying. That's buying. I don't want to buy... No, that, no, that's they are buying. Right, they are selling and they are buying. So yeah, so they're buying polished stone. So we could make ourselves a quick buck there from just going, right, yeah, put some polished stone into there, please. And then we can set the trader to come and pick them up. Now, did I do that last time or not? Yeah, so anything above 30. But presumably, because it's not stockpiled anywhere, it's not in a warehouse, they are not actually doing anything with that. They're not selling the stuff because it's not available for the trader to come and quickly pick up. Okay, so that should help. That should help. That is very useful. Um, I wouldn't mind. Oh, I was going to say, I wouldn't mind getting 500 monies. And I think we had 500 money. And then as soon as I said that, it all vanished and went away. Because we could do with buying another tile. With a plot of land. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 10 more, 10 more, 10 more. It's so, someone look down the back of your sofas and find 10 gold. Hang on, let me look somewhere. Look down the back of the, the, back of the armchair. Under the, under the sofas. No, nothing on top of the bookshelves. There we go. Right, pause time. One second. Uh, territory. Let's buy that one. That makes sense to me. Or do we want to buy here, actually? Because that gives us shiny new things. No, let's try and get our money up a bit. Let's try and get an increase to our money. So, yes, we'll buy that land, please. Lovely, lovely land. And now what we can do is... What we could do is... They've nearly finished chopping down all those trees down here. 
So this will be a nice little sort of area of uh, growth down there. So we can put residential stuff in and other buildings. We could put another well down there and all that kind of stuff. So let's unmark these trees here for extraction. Not so bothered about those anymore. Cheerio. Oh, that, well, that tree is avoided. Oh, and that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Right, they can do that. And they can extract all those trees. That's fine. They'll blat them. Yeah, there we go. Get all those trees. Then hopefully they'll start working on these trees. Because I would like them to be sort of clear and out of the way. I want them to sort of go away, <laughs> if at all possible. And then in here, I think we build the Lord Manor over here somewhere. I think that sounds exciting. I like that idea. So we build that in here. And you know, he's sort of surrounded a little bit by lovely trees. And then we can, we can chop down some of the trees. In fact, let's clear say some of those trees clear a little area like that maybe so people can come in on a path around there so we'll clear that area of trees like so so all those can go chop all those down that can be lovely fertile farmland and then yeah we'll keep keep those trees there for the moment and though well, we can't do anything with those ones so down here and these ones here can stay and then the lord manathan can go here also there is a little a little thing there for berries now we are very low on berries and that will make people very sad. Do you know what I'm going to do right now? Gathering hut. Oh, I've got no gold. Of course I've got no gold. Right, hang on. Hang on. Bosh, 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 bosh. Speed time on. Come on. Let's get some gold in. 10 gold and 20 gold. Lovely. Right. Uh, let's put that right in front of there. And then prioritize that. Thank you very much. And then also, let's plan out. Let's put it back on normal speed now. Uh, let's plan out our Lord Manor. Uh, also... Also, it's worth noting now, in happiness terms, uh, last time out we had lots of angry faces. Were there four? Maybe four or five. Now, we only have one angry face. <laughs> one angry person, and everyone else is just a little bit miffed. And that's because they missed some food recently, but that is going down. That number is decreasing, so their sort of a minus modifier thing is decreasing, which is very good. Okay, let's get ourselves a Lord Manor's house. Oh, this is very good. <laughs> I like all this. And the thing is, we need to build a Lord Manor's house right now. This is for us. Your very own manor. It's all mine. Because we need the, um, we need splendor. We need splendor to increase so we can unlock this tier of stuff. And then get, like, uh, stone things and a treasury and a bailiff's office and all that kind of stuff. So we need to kind of get some splendor. So we need to build a little one of these. We can build a small treasury. Oh, Okay. Oh, that's quite interesting then. So, a core. Let's have a bit of it uh, there. So we can kind of go beside the path. Do we want it beside the path? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it here. I'm going to put it here. And then, yeah, a, this is where the people walk in. This is where the new arrivals come in. So maybe they can sort of sit and go, oh, look, Lord Manor House. In fact, why don't we put it in this clearing here? Because people are going to be, so this bit's going to be empty, isn't it, from trees. So, okay, that's fine. So, hang on, right, hang on. Clear that for a second. I wouldn't mind assigning some people to that building that I can't click on for some obscure reason. Hang on, do I need to come out of that? Yes. Right, hands. Hands, you are now a forager. Go and get berries from this very nearby bush. In fact, hang on. Also, hands, wait a second. Wait a second. Now you may continue. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, okay, no, that's that's the wrong button. Right, can press the right buttons. Right, Lord Manor, yes, down here. So we'll put a core just here, like so. Uh, there, I think. And then we'll have another one of those, please. Because I wouldn't mind another one clipping onto the back, which is nice. Uh, and then a door. A door would probably be a sensible idea. Yeah, there, look. That's good. I like that. And then a small treasury. Can we have two small treasuries can we can we go completely crazy and have two small treasuries on the back and then a tower like so and oh no hang on no, like that and then do, do 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 i don't know does that make any difference as to how expensive it is yes but that adds 11 and a half splendor now we need at least 10 splendor to get up to this next level so we've got to have a, a ludicrous <laughs> That just looks ridiculous. So let's get us at how much can it be for 10? There. So 10, uh, 10 splendor with the people, which is what we need to expand this even further, uh, is that. So that's a little Lord Manor House. So for right now, that will do. Um, we've not got any sort of 
uh, sort of styles or anything. It is just, that's what it is. So yeah, okay, let's start construction of that, please. Thank you very much. So uh, it just needs planks. My entire Lord Manor's house is just made out of planks. Okay. It doesn't sound as quite as, as, as wondrous as I thought it might be, but right you are. Um, we've got a fairly nice pile of planks. What we could do is, because we do have 164 wood, we could get ourselves another uh, place that makes planks. Another plankery. A sawmill. That's the word. A sawmill. Not a plankery. It, a, a plankery doesn't exist. So let's put one of those right on the edge. Just there. Let's put a sawmill just there. And do you know what? Let's put a lumber camp over this side as well. And they can go a chopping trees. So let's do that there. And they can sort of deal with cutting down trees and stuff. So more people doing that is no bad thing. Right. Now I'm not going to make the same mistake that I did last time. I'm not going to have plebs. <laughs> I'm not going to have the commoners. As much as I love the people. Yay go the people. You are not allowed to build here. Uh, you can walk through actually. No, maybe that's maybe that's stopping them walking along that nice path they've built. But yeah, no no building, please. This is all mine. This is my land. Mine, 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 and all mine. So yeah, don't build there. You can, however, if you wish, build along here. Because you know, I'm all for being with I'm all for being with the people. Go the people. Love the populace. Very exciting. I like the people. So let's have that like that. And then some people could come, come and live down here. We also need a couple of wells around the place because people will be cross if they cannot get to a well. So we could have a well there. And I think we might put a well down this end of the village as well. So there we go. It's well. There's, there's the fisher person just, just walking across water. <laughs> if you can walk across water, why can't you make me have more money? Just conjure up some money, please. Okay. So there's plenty, plenty going on. I think we make that a priority issue and that a priority issue. So make those two very important and then they can get on with that. Then they can start cutting down trees, more lumber is more planks, more planks go into the thing. I get my house quicker, which is yeah, it's really what I'm after. Also, what I'm going to do is, where's my villager list gone? How many are, there's two unemployed. Two unemployed. I do need some more. I need some more unemployed folk. But once they are in, if I get another couple of people sort of coming into the settlement, I can then turn off immigration for a little while because I'm a little bit concerned of the happiness levels. I'm a bit concerned, although to be fair... Oh, hang on. No, that's that's ordered it in terms of arrival, not happiness. Um, no, look, we've got no one with angry face anymore. They've just got sort of slightly glum, a little bit of a glum face. Okay, well, that's... That's okay. I'll, I'll take a glum face over an irate, angry cross face any day. So there we go. So that's looking good. Right. Uh, let's belt time forward. Get some of these buildings done down here. In fact, that's going to be done very soon. So we'll have Pierre. Pierre the lumberman can go and work in there. That is fine. You are doing berries and stuff. You're building this at pay. So once that's done, it just needs some stone. But that's fine. Oh, someone else coming in. Oh, no, that's Pierre. That's Pierre. He's going to go and chop down some trees. To make planks, to make our house, <laughs> which is a little bit self-aggrandizing, but never mind. So, um, yeah, we'll wait for this to be done. It does need stone, but that's fine. So when the sawmill's done, we'll put someone in the sawmill, and then hopefully that should increase our production of planks, and then we can start getting our Lord Manor completed. And the sawmill is complete, so let's put Friedrich in there, which is which is a good name. I do like Friedrich. Friedrich, I don't know how you pronounce that, but whatever. Um, so there's somebody moving in down here. There's a house. That's good news. That's good news. I've got somebody across the road I can go and chat to. And, you know, if I run out of milk, I can nip across there and get... Actually, is there milk? There's not milk in this game. There's no cows. If I run out of berries, I could just... Oh, berries are just there. I don't know why I need to go and talk to this person across the road. But whatever. There's somebody across the road that I can talk to if I want to. However, I have also outlined a little market area just here because if people are going to be living down here you know if we're going to have a well and various other bits of obs there's berries and things i think it's probably a good idea to have oh there's the trader hello trader um i think it's a good idea to have a little market area down here as well so we're not going to turn off immigration quite yet because we need more people we need more people to do more things but it's fine it's absolutely fine so what is going on right now what is happening uh, there are eight. There's eight planks in there. So are they putting planks in here? Because our planks, we've got 120. Have we? We've got 120 planks. Oh, 
Quest completed, reach a weekly profit of 500. We've been given 50 planks. Oh. Oh, that's quite nice. We've, that's been on there for absolutely ages. So the Lord Manor's construction site has got nothing in it at all. It's got nothing in it. So once this is constructed, once they've done the well, so yep, yeah, construct the well, yep, yeah, whack, whack the ground with a hammer. That makes wells appear. I know that to be the case. You, so you've built this much out of wood. I mean, this looks very stony to me. This looks very much like it's made of stone, but okay, fine, whatever. It isn't. This is made of wood. <laughs> very convincing veneer on it or something. I don't know. So I think what we'll do is wait for the well to get completed, and then we'll make this, make our fancy pants house, the top priority. We want that to be really important, number one kind of thing that we get finished. And then how's... Put it in terms of happiness. Um, how is everyone looking? No angry faces. In fact, only four sad faces. They're probably two new people, so they don't really... Oh, everyone's new. All the sad people are, are new people. I mean, that's not a good sign, is it? Is that a good sign? People turning up and then them being sad? I don't really know. I don't think it is. <laughs> Never mind. Right. Make that important. The Lord Manor's building is now utterly, utterly crucial. Thank you very much. My Lord, we need to choose who we want to help. Okay. So this little mission here, we're not actually doing particularly well at. We've got 30 days left to deliver some fish to the people. So we've got ourselves, that will get us another 10 influence. And when we have 10 influence, that means that we can buy each of these things because they're three. So at the minute we could, we could uh, get nine. So we've got enough to get the ones in this middle tier, but we haven't got the little bit to push us over the edge to get that, to get the tax office. Yes, that's what we want. So yeah, we haven't got enough to get that yet. So we'll have to think about that. Uh, Kingdom, we've got everything we need. We've got all the influence points. Yes, we haven't got the splendor, but we've got the influence points. And clergy, again, I think with 20, even if they're three each, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Uh, oh no, 21. So we could do with helping the clergy a little bit. But what are we actually helping them with? Berries. Deliver 30 berries to the clergy in 60 days. And reward is an extra 10 and failure is less too. Joe, you know yeah, we'll help the clergy for now. Go for that, please. Yes, there we go. A new quest, and we can't do either of them at the moment. Yay! <laughs> go us. How many fish do we actually have in storage? Seven. Is that it? Maybe, maybe we need another little fishery thing of it. Oh, hang on. We've got 500 out of 500. Let's buy ourselves another plot of land, the one by the sea, and then we could put a couple of fishery things actually by the ocean which is probably a quite a sensible thing. So a fisherman's hut. Uh, oh, hang on, we can't build it now because we've got no gold. <laughs> hang on, there we go. How far into the sea can they go? Oh, that looks much better. That looks much better. So we'll build one there and, oh, hang on, then we'll wait for some money to roll back in again. And, da, 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 minus 14. That's probably not a good sign, is it? And then one there. So we get a couple of those in. That will increase our fish because we're a bit low. That's a little bit low. That's disturbingly low. Also, can we have more people gathering? Have we maxed that out? Yes, that one is maxed out. Let's throw another person into here. There you go. So Hans and Emily. Sounds lovely. It sounds like a fairy tale. I'm not entirely sure why, having prioritised the construction of our Lord Manor, why they've not done anything to it at all? Waiting for a builder. Unless all our builders have left or something. No, Heinrich is a builder. I've only got the one. Oh, that, okay, that yeah, that might not be great. Stephen, Stephen, you can be a builder, my good sir. There we go. And uh, Wilhelmine can be a transporter. That might be useful as well. And that leaves one person unemployed. So that leaves George, but that's fine because George can get on with build, uh, with doing some other stuff eventually. Maybe we'll put George into here. This is like the market thing. So I noticed that you're building the market thing first ahead of the Lord Manor site. Even though I've set that to be your number one sort of priority issue, you're not bothering with that. And instead, you're kind of going down this route instead. But okay, bit weird. Um, but I mean, the market will be good. It's a good thing. Um, what are you bringing into there? Wood? Oh, yeah, so you took some wood into there. So Friedrich has got some wood going into there. So, yes, yeah, so the market, yeah, obviously, it needs doing. It has its place. And it's very important, but I'd, I'd rather you got on with our big fancy building that means that we can then unlock this next tier of things. And then we can have stone something, whatever that is, and then a treasury, and then a bailiff's office, and all these cool things. Uh, oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold thy horses. Um, one new building is unlocked. 
Why? What building did we just unlock? Enlighten me. Um, a stone bridge, possibly? Was that the last one on the list? It might have been a stone bridge. Uh, decorative trees, road signs. Oh, yeah, we could put a couple of these down, actually. Oh, no, they were a bit rubbish. The decorative bushes. Everybody loves a decorative bush or two. So let's put a few of these along here. Uh, in front of people's houses might be quite nice. A little, little treat there for you. And then down just there as well. Oh, either side of the little crossroads thing. There we go. That's nice. Little sort of foresty, uh, foresty, little sort of gardening area. That's quite pleasant. And that should improve the desirability of this place as well. Yeah, I don't really know why they've decided to forsake our Lord Manor building. I don't know why they've not bothered with this. Because it just needs a load of planks. And, and we do have planks. So I don't know why. Unless they're waiting for 255 planks in storage. Which is unlikely to ever happen. I don't know. I don't know why they're not building it in bits. Why aren't they putting some planks in when they can? We've got loads of planks. Just put them in. Put the planks in. That's very, very silly. Okay, hang on. Let's look at trade for a second. Let's unlock a trade route to North Buri. Let's bring that into the middle. Because they buy clothes. They want to buy clothes. And we've got loads of clothes. <laughs> we've got so many clothes. So we could unlock a trade route to them for 20 bread. Which is fine. We've got 62 bread. So we'll do that. We'll unlock a trade route to those lot. To North Buri. Who are aligned to the, to the clergy. Uh, that is another trade for a thousand gold. Okay, maybe we won't be doing that anytime soon. Um, and then trading resources. They're buying wool. Where's our resource panel gone? Uh, wool. Okay, now we'll keep wool. But clothes, absolutely. We will sell above the value of, well, let's say 60 clothes. Let's say we'll sell above the value of 60 clothes. Because we, do we need that many? Hang on, let's put it up a little bit. Because we are getting quite a lot of people now. 75 clothes. That should do the job. That's plenty. That's plenty of clothes. Right, and come out of that. Push time on a bit. We, we are near to getting some more some more land. We are near to getting that. Right, hang on. We've got the right amount of fish. So, yes, we'll deliver that. Ta-da! Right, we've got plenty now. Plenty of influence over here with the labour peoples, with the labour track. So, we don't need that anymore. So, it's going to come to the point where we're going to have all the required points. And we don't need to do any of those things. So where, you know, initially I initially thought, where it goes, my lord, we need your help. And we just go, no, thank you. Maybe now we can just go, no, clear off. I'm not helping anybody. You can all get stuffed. So yeah, maybe we can do that soon because we'll have all the sort of requisite points to do everything that we need anyway. Uh, right, you. Uh, no, that's a well, uh, not that. Uh, right, assign an extra person to do that and assign an extra person in there. So Friedrich and Rupert, another house is complete. They are doing the market pretty well down here. But yeah, it's going to still count as though it's being built at the minute, I think. Um, you. Are you a builder? Are you coming to finish this off? Oh no, you're, you're, you're cutting trees as well, which is absolutely fine. Uh, and taking it into there, possibly? I don't really know what you're doing, but okay, there you go. You. You are... Ah, now this is going to be finished. This is going to be completed very soon indeed. Right now, in fact. Okay, so down here... What do we want to sell? So sells food. That's probably a good thing. Let's sell bread. Just there. Goods. Let's sell clothes. Luxuries. Oh, herbs. So herbs now is a luxury. That was a thing we could buy. That was a thing that we could buy via the trade thingamabob. Yeah, let's... Um, something until inventory reaches the value. Uh, well, hang on. 10. What if we buy 10? Uh, 20... Oh, that's 200 a time. That could be quite expensive. How about we don't buy that many? How about we just buy five for now? Five herbs. That's that's fine. I don't so much mind that. And also we've got 500, so we can buy another bit of land. I'm thinking we buy this bit. I want to kind of head out this way. My ultimate goal was to try and get down here and build like a monastery on there. Because I think that just looks, that would just be fun and interesting. So let's try and go for that, shall we? That can be our sort of ultimate end goal. So we'll go to there. Bosh. And then we can get this one when we can get the next one. Now, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. Do we need to buy this one and this one? I don't know. We'll have to find out when we get there. <laughs> but that could be interesting. That'll be a fun thing to discover. Right. Um, well, come out of that. Don't want that screen anymore. There we go. Lovely. Everything is looking 
looking really good. Everything's looking very good indeed, except our building here, which I'm still confused as to why they're not bothering with. Nothing. Nothing in there at all. My very own Lord Manor, nothing is happening with it, which I don't understand. I've made it important. I've told them that I want them to build this building, yet they are not doing it, and I'm not entirely sure why. The only thing I can think of that we previously mentioned is that they want 255 planks in storage, which, which is just a ridiculous amount. That is a silly amount of planks. I mean, yeah, down here we've got... These things are not being worked on either. Um, do we need another builder? I suspect we maybe need another builder then, if this is the state of things. Uh, yeah, okay, get another builder in, please. Claude, 24-year-old male Claude can go and be a builder. So maybe get things, you know, moving a little bit. But yeah, nothing going on with the Lord Manor House. Which is a shame, because at the minute, I have to live with you, plebs. I mean, you normal folk. Okay, what we're going to do is, the fisherman hut that's just here. Well, technically, it's not a fisherman's hut. It's a fisherwoman's hut. So, Rose, the fisher lady, um, she is currently working here. I'm going to remove that, because we've got these two other ones inbound. So, let's take Rose out of there, uh, which she will do as soon as she gets back from actually doing stuff. So, there we go. So, she's, oh, she's put three fish in there. We could do with that not happening now. So, now, an assign Rose... From that workplace. Where is Rose going? Why can we not just unassign Rose from that workplace kind of immediately? Why is she wandering off somewhere? Rose, where are you going? Right, okay. And now Rose, come come back here. I'd like to assign... There you go, Rose. <laughs> Lovely, that's good. And then we'll have somebody else. Well. So Rose and Lily can be the fish gathering people. And then we'll destroy that building. That might have lost us three fish, but never mind. At least it's done. It's out of the way. We don't have to worry about it again. Now down here... We've got a nice big bit of land down here now. They're slowly... Yep, they're, those things are indeed ready for extraction. So those trees are fair game. In fact, one of them is being chopped down right now. So all that's going to be nice and open, which is good. That's good news. That means we can build down there. It'll all be very lovely. Now, what do we do with this here? We've got... We haven't got this tile, have we? No. Okay, no, we haven't got that. I'm tempted to get rid of all those trees. Get rid of these trees as well, actually. Get rid of all the trees. Get rid of all the trees. It's fun. Do we need trees? I mean, do we really need trees? Apart from, you know, global warming and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this is ye olde medieval times. They won't care about global warming. They really won't give a monkeys. So I think right now, we spend more time on that down there, getting rid of those trees, than we do with these trees. These trees here are all fine. It's all good. We'll keep those for now. Yay, yay trees. Yay nature. So if we just clear all this out, uh, four new buildings are logged. What? Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause time for a second. I'm just clearing stuff. What? Four? What? What buildings? Oh, we've got these. Ooh, iron smelters, blacksmiths, coal huts, iron mines. Um, coal huts? Is there coal on the thing here? There's iron ore. There is an iron ore. I mean, there's a little deposit of it just there, which would be... I mean, that's going to be our only source of iron for quite some time quite some distance. That's fine. So we can do an iron mine. How does a coal hut work? Do they just dig anywhere? Do they just literally dig into the ground? So we could have a little industrial area up there on top of the hill. We could clear all those trees out at some point as well. Get all those sort of uh, binned. <laughs> just obliterate all the trees. So yeah, now, now let's clear this. I've changed my mind completely. These trees did survive. They had a stay of execution, but now the axes are coming to chop you. So we'll get rid of all these. Beep, 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 boo. There we go. And for some reason, the side of that mountain is very important for us to, to destroy as well. Don't destroy sides of mountains. Um, there we go. Like that. That'll do. We probably don't need that bit down there near the sea. That's probably a little bit dangerous. But there we go. So clear out all that, please. And that can be a little industrial area. So we'll put stuff up there, like the coal mine and the stuff and the blacksmith and all that can go up here. And that'll look very good indeed. That bit can be sort of residential. We might push the residential bit down here a little. Uh, so that can come down this way, I think. Yeah, around the sort of around the well, kind of to there. And then what we'll do is we'll um, get a few... Uh, they're in there, weren't they? So a few decorative bushes. We'll, we'll put them in like that we just put them in a little row like like that and that should help with the uh, desirability of that and then a decorative tree can sort of go here this bit looks like a sort of a crossroads now <laughs> crossroads without anything there actually there is a road sign 
We could put a road sign in like that. Does someone need to build that? Possibly somebody needs to build that road sign, which is a little bit of a little bit of a uh, problem because that means another builder resource is gone. But there we go. So a little sort of centre there. That's nice. Um, and then uh, where can we put another couple of these? Let's let's put one there. We just throw a few of these around. One there because it makes it look pretty. It's lovely. One on that side of the well. That's nice. Uh, one, maybe a couple by the church. Why don't we have a decorative tree by the front of the church as well? Okay, that's looking pretty good. So the only things now, so we can see what this is. A cypress, so that's a tree, and a fountain. <gasps> I'd love a fountain. That would be very good. I would like a proper fountain. So, um, and then um, where's a stone bridge? A rustic church. Yeah, we need to now get these things done. So we, I think, we're, again, we need another church. I think we need another church, or... Do we add on to the church we've already got? Can we enhance this church with exciting new things? Um, different doors. Extension A gives us 0.5 influence. That's not very much at all. It gives us plus 5. No, not influence. Hang on. What was that? Uh, extension A. 0.5 of a star thing. Whatever that is. Prestige. Splendor. So 0 0.5. And we need 5. That is not very good. So we could do with another... If we put another core on it, like how would we go about... Oh, oh, that could just be beautiful. Just hang it over the edge. That can be like a test. It could be like, right then, there you go. This is the test. Do you dare go into that bit of the church and test your faith? Oh, I quite like that. Let's put that in because that just looks ridiculous. So there we go. We'll have a bit of that. <laughs> Why not? There we go. So I'll up it to... That's an extra one. So that'll give us... Um, three splendor and then the doors don't give us any splendor at all core b could give us some splendor but that yeah this that's just not going to work anymore is it the cores aren't going to work anymore unless we can we swivel it around and clip it on somewhere like that this is this is a this is a bit of a mess of a church and we can't put it there unfortunately it's realized that we can't just could we put <laughs> church going down the mountain that would be ridiculous. Can we do that? Is that in any way possible? Because that could be a lot of fun. That could be very ridiculous. We could do that. Um, a small tower. Do you know what? We could always tack a small tower on. Uh, oh, that doesn't do anything, though. That doesn't give you anything. 3.4. Yeah, so the minute we're on 3.4 Splendor, and we need 5 to then unlock these additional parts for the rustic church. Um, how about we stick with that for now? So we go, yes, yeah, start construction of that, because that's just ridiculous. And then we'll build another church somewhere. How about we try and build another church? And that could go down here. Why don't we build a church just here? So now let's get ourselves another church. So yeah, we'll get public building, uh, rustic church. Sounds good. Uh, core B, let's have this time. I'm sure there's not that much difference, to be fair. And we'll have it going along that way. So we'll have Core B... Uh, core, no, that's that's a door. No, no, core, core like that. Oh, it's a bit bigger. Okay, that's fine. So that gives two point four. So already we're on we're on what we need to then get the additional parts. So how about we just have if we just keep this minimal for now. Have a little extension that goes there, like that. So it cuts. Oh no, hang on, no, not there. Put it at the back. Put the extension uh, there, like so. And then we'll have a door that can go at the front of the church, which would make sense. In fact, door C. Why the heck? Oh, oh, that's quite grand. Oh, I like that. That's good. Yeah, we'll have that, please, if it snaps. Yep, like that. Lovely. And then, and then it needs a tower. Every church needs a bell tower, obviously. So we'll do that. We'll hoik that up a bit like that. There we go. I like that. That looks good. And that gives us four, which will then push us over in terms of churchiness, in terms of church points. Uh, and that'll give us enough to unlock this, which would be lovely. And then we can add additional parts to the churches and hopefully get 20 uh, churchy points, church stars, splendors, to then unlock all these other bits and bobs. And then just get more stuff going from there. So yes, start construction of that. And that can be a light church as well. The other one was a dark theme. That can be a light theme. Um, okay. Well, I mean, they've completely ignored the Lord Manor building. They've utterly snubbed that for whatever reason. Still nothing. Waiting for a builder. It's not like it's in an accessible location, is it? I mean, you can you can get to it. So I don't quite know why they're not going for that. But never mind. 
that's a bit annoying. So yeah, we'll see what they do with the rest of it. I mean, are they doing the, this church? Are they going to start doing this bit here? I don't know. Oh, someone's built a road sign. I mean, that's that's nice. Can you build my manor house, please? Because it's going to say road sign pointing to not manor house at the moment. <laughs> also, it's pointing the wrong way. Oh, no, that's fine. That one's kind of pointing up this path. I was going to say that one is not good. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah, you guys. You absolutely throw everything in. Oh, all the planks go to the church, do they? All the planks go to the church, but not to my house. That is it, villagers. I am very cross. I'm very cross indeed. Um, oh, no, there. The Lord Manor is finally being constructed. <laughs> At long last. What have you guys been doing? Okay, good. Big projects are underway. There's some little things here. There's a little house. Another house going in. It's all looking pretty good. It's all looking pretty good. Also, I think they're clearing trees up here as well. I think that looks a little bit emptier than it did before, which is good. And also, yeah, we need the, um, the Lord Manor House in because it has got that treasury on the side. And the treasury will mean that we can have more than 500 monies at any one point. Because, yeah, we could get into 500 and then it just peaks. So I have to keep noting that and then going to spend it quick. Um, let's buy let's buy that bit of land. Yeah, there we go, look. And then I could buy this one and I might have to put a massive bridge. And over here, we could get our monastery. Oh, that's going to be great. That's going to be the crowning glory of this place. A monastery on Little Island is going to be beautiful. Right, what are they doing with this? Are they actually trying to build this madness? Um, possibly... They might be. Not right now, they're not. Not right now, but they're prioritising the other church, I think. Which is fine, they're doing this one right now. So that's okay, we'll wait until they finish this. <clears throat> My lord, we need to choose who we want to help. Uh, five bread, five bread, five bread. Oh, we can do either of these really easily. Really easily. So 20 points. The only thing we don't know is how much they're worth. So we've got 20 points with these. We need 12, so that's fine. 18 points here, we need 9, so that's fine. So the clergy is the only one where we don't know how much, say, unlocking a monastery is going to cost us. I mean, it might say 10. We just can't see the number right now. These are 3, so we need at least 12. We've got 20. You would assume that unlocking a small stone wall light is another 3, so that's 15. If a, if a monastery is 3, we're okay. If it's anything more than 5, we're in trouble. So let's help the clergy with that. And then we'll just go bing. Yay, there we go. <laughs> that was nice and straightforward. So we've got all that done. That was easy. And now I think we've got enough of those points. So now when those things come up, we can just say, no, I'm keeping it all for myself. Clear off everyone else. All this stuff is now mine. Me, 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 mine, mine, mine. I just took a look at what we're low on in terms of resources. We're low on planks. That's fine. They're building big buildings that require lots of planks. So that is understandable. Plenty of logs. Tools, we've got 25 tools, which is lovely. And I've upped the limit from our sort of uh, neighbour, so we actually get 25 tools now. So that's that's a nice amount. 14 berries, that is not very much. Can we assign another person into there? So that should help you know, sort of uh, topping up those berries. Don't really like that being quite as low as it is. 17 cloth, that's plenty. 80 stone planks, yeah. So wool. We're a bit low on wool, although we do have 107 clothes, but we are trying to sell some of those clothes. I don't think that's working. We just went down quite a bit then. So I think we're probably okay. But yeah, we could do with another little sheep farm somewhere. And then I think maybe we've not got much flour. So we've got plenty of wheat. We've got 51 wheat, but no flour. So maybe we need another mill as well. That is what I think we might need to do. So let's get ourselves another sheep farm, which could go down here. That'd be lovely. So another sheep farm just on that bit there. So uh, yeah, they'll do bosh sorted. <gasps> There's boats. So if they're in the water, they have a little boat. Oh, that's nice. Whereas if you put it on land like I did, which in theory, I suppose you're not supposed to do because you go, you fisher person, here is a pier. A little, a little sort of uh, shack with a pier that goes out over this grass. Then yeah, I, I guess they're not going to have a boat. The boat is going to be largely redundant. Whereas now... We've got a little boat because it's in the sea. <laughs> That's very cool. I do like that. That is very, very good. I like that a lot. So, uh, oh, hang on. We've got 16 Splendor. Is my building finished? Have they finished my... No, they have not. They have not finished. In fact, they've hardly even started it. Oh, you've bought some more stuff. I think. Are you hitting things with a hammer? Heinrich is bringing more planks. Goodness me. It's just a case of just waiting for planks. Everything is waiting for planks. Um, okay, oh, this church is looking pretty good. 
Oh, I like that. It looks different to the other one. This is like a white. Oh, we've got e good and evil. This is the good church. <laughs> this is the evil church. Okay, I like the, the tale of good and evil churches. But that'd be, that'd be useful to get that finished. Get that in. Uh, how, what are they waiting for? Planks again. And tools. We've got we've got the tools. We've got 25 tools. So they're just waiting for a builder. But then I have just told them to build this thing. And they're building that. And they'll put a, a warehouse there as well. So yeah, they're probably doing quite a lot of things. They're probably quite busy, the builders. So that's fine. We'll let them off. We have another 500 of your money. So let's buy another bit of land. Why the heck not? That'll do. So yeah, next time we could buy that one. We could just buy that. But then, yeah, I do want to start getting down here. This one here, actually. We'll buy this one here because then that gets us onto our island. Onto Monastery Island. Then we'll just sort of uh, fill that up. And then we can just try and build a monastery out over here. Overlooking the bluffs and the coast. And look at that. Overlooking the terrifying nothingness that this bit holds. Look. Behold the yellow rectangular underworld. <laughs> bit scary. Let's go back this way. So, oh, more villagers are joining as well. That is very good. That is very good news. We do want more villagers joining. Um, okay, so what other tiles are going to be of any use? I was going to look and see if there's one with berries on. That's got berries on. We're going to have to buy that and that. Uh, have any got berries on already that I just haven't seen? I don't think so. I don't think they have. Did I? Oh, he's, okay, no, he must be doing that. Yes, of course he is. Of course he is. Um, do we need another gatherer hut? Because we've got... 38 berries. That does not seem like much to me. It doesn't seem like much. Maybe we need to get another gatherer hut at some point. Maybe not right now. Let's try and get at least one of these buildings done because now I'm, I'm, it's just a case of waiting for them to do stuff now. The game is going on its fastest possible speed. Week 34. Um, so yeah, let's just see if they can finish either this church or because I keep building houses. I think it's because they keep building houses. So they're going, hey, we're building a house. And the builders go, oh, okay, right, houses. And they might as, they might sort of um, put houses as a number one kind of thing. They might sort of elevate houses above anything else because it's a house and people want to you know, live in a house. Uh, let's do that. Let's force this to be number one as well. Oh, there you go. Look, people are bringing planks. People are bringing planks aplenty. Has that got two people in? Yes, that has two people in. Does that one have two people in? Yes, it does. And that's got 14 planks sitting in it as well. So I think it's just going to be a case of just, just waiting now. Also, I just completed the quest to deliver 30 berries to the clergy. We've got that. So we've got the extra 10 clergy points. I think now we're pretty good for all those points. I think we are looking pretty good for all of those. So uh, when those little mission things pop up now, we can just basically say, no, we're keeping it all for ourselves. Away with you, you beggars. Okay, 500 monies again. Let's just buy that and be done with it. Yeah, next time we might as well just buy this one. Just to kind of have it out for the sense of completeness. We'll just have that. That'll be the edge of this. And then we'll concentrate on just buying the rest of that. So what's that? So 500, 1,000, 1,100, 2,000 and possibly get those through. So yeah, we might need 3,500 gold to buy all that. But it's going up very, very quickly now. Now we've got this little sort of trading system going on of the food and the clothes and all that kind of stuff. Now all that is sort of set up and kicking off. We are getting quite a lot of money and already we're on 181. We're on 181. Okay, yeah, it dips down back to 134 when stuff gets sold and we buy the bits and bobs or whatever. But it's going up fairly quickly. It's going up nicely. Um, church is still being constructed. It looks like they're focusing on the church more than everything else. It doesn't need that much more now. The church it doesn't need that much more stuff to get it complete. We're still waiting for our place to do anything. They are putting stuff in. They're very slowly... I think they're trying to get all the stuff in. Look, they're just bringing bits of wood here and there. But they're not doing any building on it. So maybe they're waiting. Ah, right. And our warehouse is in. So what we need to do is to get some luxuries in. I did realise that we're not storing herbs anywhere. So we're trying to buy herbs from somebody else. But, oh, hang on, wait a second there. Um, we're not actually able to put them anywhere. So if we put herbs just here, we should start seeing herbs appearing because we're going to be buying them, which is nice. So that's good. And right, I'm keeping it all. I'm not helping anybody anymore. You're after my bread. You can clear off for the minute. I'm keeping all of the bread away with you. Um, let's also store some more clothes in here. Store some clothes in that one. So what else haven't we got? We've got wood, we've probably got stone in storage, tools we've got, cloth we've got. Um, could do with some stuff down here. Oh yeah, now we're going to need these eventually. They can go up the top end, I think. They can go up in a storage area in our soon-to-be-designated industrial sort of area. Um, 
How about we have another berry storage down here? So this person here doesn't have to take the berries all the way over there. They can just put them into here. Uh, oh, we need a person. There we go. Edward. Edward, the warehouse operative. And then we'll keep this one empty. We'll keep that empty, I think. We'll leave that for something else, possibly. So hopefully we should start seeing herbs coming in. <laughs> some, some delightful herbs, which will be nice. Right, have you nearly finished this? Oh, it looks very good. It looks very good indeed. Okay, yeah, this is going to be great. We need to get ourselves... What's that? Not much. 14. 14 more planks and we are done. And there's 14 planks around somewhere. So there you go. You bring four. Four more planks. This is great. That's going to be complete. And then with that done, hopefully then we'll be able to send the rest of the planks to my house. 181 out of 255. So we don't need that many more in there now either. And then, yeah, that means we can get our own house done as well. So then I've got somewhere to live. I think this church is going to be complete very soon. All the required materials are in there. The planks and the tools are here. Yes. The splendor of your village unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Yes. Okay, very exciting. Okay, so you there, church, will have bell sound zero. And look, it can get 40 people in. A priest? None. Do I pick a priest? Do I pick a priest? Okay, I don't know. I don't think I can right now. Okay, so that's lovely. So that's done. And now... We've got this done. So we can have Rustic Church additional parts. So now we can go click and we've got some additional parts for Rustic Church. We can immediately go back into this and have a look. Ooh. Oh, I like unnamed part. That's good. <laughs> How mysterious. So yes, we've got ourselves um, extension A. I think we've got an extension A. I think that's what that is. Extension A is that. So we could get ourselves different bits. So extension B, extension C, uh, another small tower which doesn't add to the add to the sort of uh, faith stars, whatever that is, splendor. 20 splendor we need for the, all these bits done. 20! Good grief, it's going to build massive, big, long churches. Um, okay, fine, fine. If that's what we need to do, that's what we need to do. So yeah, this is the next thing we want to do then. So rustic church is in for now. That's lovely. Yay, go rustic church. Right. Uh, just bosh time onwards. Oh, people have built... There's so many houses coming in. I assume that's a house as well. Yep. Lots and lots of houses. Claude is bringing... Oh, that's that being upgraded. Ah! It's being upgraded. Well, la-dee-da. Um, do you know what I do want to do? And this is entirely, entirely pointless. But I do want a road sign kind of in the middle of the town. I just feel like it needs a road sign there. Just to, you know, help people out and see where they're going. Also, this bit is being cleared out very well indeed. That is very good. So soon we'll be able to get our sort of industrial kind of area up here with uh, forges and blacksmiths and that kind of stuff. That'll be very lovely. We've come all the way down to here. Kind of got onto this bit. So, um, yeah, now, now let's just wait until my house is done. Oh, two new buildings have unlocked, apparently. What are they? It can only be these last two things here. A fountain. Used as decoration. Or a cypress. So a nice tree. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, that is a nice tree. It's very straight. Okay, yeah, let's put one of them down. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely tree. Also, we'll put we'll put a thing there. A cypress there. Because that's kind of flash. And then, I do want a fountain. I do want a fountain. We are going to have to save up 500 monies. To get ourselves a fountain. Oh, more villagers joining as well. But I do want a fountain. And I think we'll put a fountain just here. Coincidentally, right by where I'm going to live eventually. Whenever they build the place. I'm going to pop a fountain down. But yeah, let's save up 500 gold first. Okay, we've got 500 gold. Let's blow all the important gold on a fountain outside my house. So, um... Yeah, that'll do. Lovely fountain. There we go. Not self-aggrandizing and self-important at all. But I've just put a big fountain and a nice tree outside of the house where I'm hopefully going to live. They're nearly there. They need 12 more planks to go into there. And then we'll be sorted. I've just taken a look at our villager list. There, there's an awful lot of unemployed people. How long has that been going on? <laughs> there's so many unemployed people. No wonder stuff isn't happening. Hang on. Right, Gunter. Go and be a builder. Anna, go and be a builder. Lots of people. Charles, 
go and be a builder. Because there's lots of stuff requiring to be built. Lots of little sort of houses and all sorts of things going on. Uh, right, transporters. We'll have three transporters. Lovely. That's very nice. We'll have another transporter. Right, that's good. Uh, down here. Down here. Let's get ourselves... Uh, some people into there. So Henri and Jane, you can go and sell goods. That's nice. You've got three people in there. Uh, we'll have another person chopping down trees. That's nice. That is full. Okay. So why why weren't why are all these people just sitting about doing nothing? You surely you could you know, be a bit more proactive about this. But there we go. Um, right. Sheep hut. Does that need more than one person? No, that's got one person in it. We were building a sheep hut, weren't we? Down here. Oh, yeah, is it nearly finished? Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is well-timed. Claude is assigned to the construction. Good job, Claude. Right, let's get ourselves a villager in there and we'll spawn three sheep. I don't think that makes any difference. I don't think actually having the sheep in the game makes any difference to it at all. But, you know, we'll have that in. So that's nice. Uh, fish people are doing good jobs. Well done, fish people. Uh, well, let's have Grace as another transporter. To move some goods around. Uh, we'll have another stone cutter person. That still leaves us with four people. And as I said, there's more people joining. Two more villagers are joining. Oh my goodness. Right. Um, no, I'm keeping it all. Bye-bye. Cheerio now. So do we need anything else? That is that woodcutter camp is full. We could possibly get rid of that woodcutter camp now and move it somewhere else. Um, that's got people in. That's got a tailor in it. What about this? Does this need any more people? Oh, we can have another miller. That might be a good idea. Okay. Right. Well, there we go. That's that's sort of uh, used up our population a little bit better, hasn't it? That's made things possibly go a little bit smoother. We are still waiting for a build of our own house. Six planks is all that's required now. Six planks. I have been waiting quite a long time for that to get completed. So this video currently, as I record this, now I don't know what it's been edited down to, currently is an hour and ten minutes long. So bar a few minutes of whiffling waffling at the start, that's probably what, an hour and five minutes I've actually been playing this game. And, you know, running it hard and then I've been pausing it and, you know, not pausing it, but I've been, you know, editing out the silences where I'm not talking. An hour and five minutes it's taken them to do this. I don't know why. Oh, finally. Someone's bringing the final bits at long last. I mean, yeah, they are all upgrading to nice houses, which is good. I'm all for that. I'm all for having nice houses. But can you concentrate on my stuff first? Because, <laughs> you know, I am in charge and everything. And, you know, I'm not being self-important. I am being a bit self-important. But, you know, it'd be nice if you bothered with my thing, the thing that I asked you to do first quite some time ago as well. It was quite a long time ago that I asked you to do that. Right. Oh, but they've built the road sign. They've built the road sign. So that's good. Don't build the road sign. Don't care about the road sign. No one cares about the road sign. Just get on with building my house. Also, we'll zone that out to extract. We might as well whilst we're here. Lots more wood up there. A house. Another house is upgrading. Good grief. Do you know what? Get rid of that as well. Get rid of all those trees. We don't need those trees in either. And what we could do is we could have this area as a bit of reforestry. So we could have a bit here. When they chop some of those down, we could then go, right, reforestation on this area as well. And they chop them down, and then they can go and reforest them. Now, does that require a special person to do that? I can't remember. Is there a reforestry camp or something? I don't think there is. A forester camp. There. Used for reforestation. Okay, so we'll put you down here for now. We'll just put you just there. Lots of houses being completed. Which I suppose is a good sign. That's a good thing. So they're coming down here to chop wood. Um, wooden gates used as entrances. Right, okay. Okay. So now I've got plenty of wool. That's a good thing. So we've got wool down here. That is lovely. Yeah, the next thing we need then, I think, we need more windmills. So we'll get some more windmills. However, I'm still not happy about this. Come on, folks. Come on, folks. It's not too late for, for me to bring back public executions for people that don't build houses quick enough. I just clicked on this house here to see what was going on. They're upgrading this house. But the people that live in this house, I like the names. And only because of Deus Ex. Those who remember the original Deus Ex game. One of my favourite games of all time, if not my favourite game of all time. Um, there were two characters in it who were your sort of Unatco buddies. 
main character sort of where he worked, his buddies. And they were called Anna Navarra and Gunter Herman. And in this house here live Anna and Gunter. <laughs> so there we go. A little sort of flashback to Deus Ex. Entirely coincidental. But there we go. That's what it made me think of. Um, I'm a little bit cross that they're building the fountain. They're spending a lot of time building this fountain before they're actually assigning a builder to go and build my very own manor. Because all the planks are in. Everything is ready in this Lord Manor site, but they're just not building it. They're not building it. They're building everything else except that. I don't really know what they're doing. We've got loads of builders. There's not that much building work going on. There's a building here. There's a house. There's a house just there and another one has cropped up over there. That's kind of it. That's kind of it. What are the other builders doing? What if I pause it and then elevate it and then unpause it? Nothing. Do you know what? Do you know what? We might just have to wait for next time to get that done. At least, let's get the fountain done. Let's get the fountain complete, because why not? That's at least something. Uh, if I can't live in my house, at least I can live in the fountain. I mean, I'll, yeah, I can sort of uh, swan around in the water. I mean, how is it pumped in? How is that water sort of pumped? How would a fountain... Is, is it going to just go shh and spray water everywhere? We'll find out in a second, because they're going to finish it momentarily. So, let's have a look. And whack it with enough hammers. Yay! Oh no, it doesn't come out. So the water doesn't sort of spray out dramatically. I was going to say, how do they do that in this era? When there's no kind of pump, kind of idea of what like pneumatic sort of or whatever mechanical pumps might be. Uh, but no, that's fine. So currently, I haven't got a house. You know, the best laid plans and all that. I haven't got a house because for some reason it's waiting for a builder. I'm not entirely sure what they're waiting for. But um, I do have a fountain. I've got a lovely, lovely fountain. Everything else is ticking over very nicely indeed. Uh, what we are going to do is just the last thing we're going to do is we're going to get another mill. We're going to put that... Um, oh, I don't want to put it there because it might get in the way of that ore. But I do kind of like the idea of them being on the edge. But no, we can put one down here. We can put one here. It's near enough to all the bakery and stuff that it's going to be good. It's on a little main road thing. So look, it's on the road into town, if you like. That's where we're storing all the other stuff anyway. Storing the flour and what have you. So it's only just round the corner. If they really wanted to, they could make another path that goes round there. If they were so inclined. So uh, yeah, there we go. We'll get that in. But that's that done for now. I think what it is, we'll leave it there. But my goodness, we have indeed grown quite a bit. We are a little bit poor. We're a little bit poor now. That might be because I just spent money on um, on investing in that thing. How much is a windmill? Oh, 200. Yeah, so, okay, we just invested 200 of that. That's fine. Uh, does that need money to build or something? No. I really don't know why they're not building it. I, I genuinely don't know. I'm very confused, and I don't really know why. So next time out, uh, next time out, we are going to keep expanding down here with the money. So we're down onto here, onto Monastery Island, if we can ever get that far. However, one thing we certainly could do with some of our money that we're earning, and we're going to get another bit now, is one of our missions is to build a wooden keep. Now, I would quite like to build a wooden keep on this bit here. That looks like a very good spot for a wooden keep. High up. High up so it can look over things and look very sort of imperious and scary. So let's try and buy this, and then we'll try and buy those two bits of land as well. So another thousand gold required. And we'll build our wooden keep up on there and it can look mighty impressive too because that'll be sort of sat atop everything so we'll be just here the wooden keep will be up there keeping an eye on the settlement and making sure that everything is okay but let's leave it for now slightly disappointingly they've not decided to build my house but they are building a windmill they're very very intent on getting everything done except my house which is a little bit sad I'll be honest and then look they're doing a good job with trees as well so yeah let's call it let's call it a day for now we'll come back next time we'll see how we get on with building my house if they ever do get round to it and we'll get our keep underway we'll get our wooden keep underway so we need to get, get some more money in buy that bit of land slap a great big wooden keep up there and that should then start unlocking some of these things so you know we'll start getting the uh, prestige kind of thing for that the splendor sorry uh, so we'll get hopefully 15 splendor and then we can get hunters hurts and wooden keep big tea I don't know what that is but we can get a big tea a big cup of tea and then a weaponsmith and all these are the very very exciting things indeed but yes that is all for next time out if you are enjoying this hang on let's keep everything there we go splendid if you're enjoying this then please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in our little adventures in foundation but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next time i really hope i don't have to send children down into coal mines or whatever because i would feel like a terrible person hello robot and i shall call you alan still some homeless people still hungry people
Still sick, people. Okay, if you try and reach London, you will end up frosty and dead. Great big human lollipop. 